now we move to the 19th topic it is again on integration and trigonometry it is considered to be one of the most trickiest topic because you know it's not that easy you need to assume and all that now for example over here this is related to sine inverse the formula you have to assume sine thetas and then rearrange this and then solve it you might have uh, come across this in the regular classes this is the all long method but the best part is you can do the shortcut method over here and it is in the question number 19 you will have the four options but now the problem is you might be confused on how to do the shortcut now we are in such problems when it's definite integral it's very very easy but look over here they're asking which form the form you must remember the forms in the formula and based on that you need to simplify these now i won't go in detail of that i'll directly tell you the shortcut method over here since secant and tan comes it might be tricky see cosecant comes how will you exactly solve it directly let me take one of the most difficult one like the last one because there is a lot of inverse and everything in this sorry let me take this and show you how to solve it directly you will have four options and i've already checked this i've checked a couple of problems randomly and they will definitely work in your calculator i mean the physical calculator not just the uh, one i have in my computer even the physical calculator it will definitely work but make sure you use the brackets according uh, properly if you do even a simple error you will get a wrong answer now you can see secant inverse before I start the calculator method, there are a few things you must remember. You know secant equals 1 by cos. But do you know what is secant inverse of, say, x equal to? Now, this is not 1 by cos inverse x. It doesn't make sense because the domain is, uh, you know, defeated. I mean, it will be error because, you know, when you take 1 by cos inverse, all the, uh, the domain doesn't match. So, what happens is you should just remember secant inverse will be directly cos inverse but whatever is there inside this what is there that will be that's x right that will be 1 by x so now for example over here we have secant inverse x by 2 take a minute and solve what's what's it going to be it is going to be cos inverse uh, it will be 1 by x, so it will be 1 divided by x by 2. It will be 1 divided by x divided by 2. So this is the method. Now then, what we will do is we will see the calculator method. The first step is to take a x value. Now look over here, there is a square root function. Remember, you can't take anything less than... Uh, 2 I, yeah 2 you can't take you can't make it a negative value right you can't take 2 so take a bigger value which makes the above positive so let me just take 4 no let me take 4.5 simply you can't take 0 or 1 you can't take 0.5 it'll give you an error over here so let me take x of 4.5 x is equal to 4.5 i can take 2.5 as well it's up to you guys you can just take a random value but make sure you will get an answer now square root let me just do the fraction square root of 4.5 square minus 4 divided by 4.5 squared what is the answer it's 2 root let's write the decimal form so the answer is 0 0.19906 okay this is enough now you need to de de definite de um, definite derivative of the answers so press shift and divide by dx type the answers as it is it's not a big thing to type see natural logarithm okay open the bracket this is the already open now open one more bracket and write alpha x by 2 so it's 2 make sure you're typing uh, once you open close it okay that is done only now natural logarithm back bracket is remaining now plus tan all very straightforward it already opened the bracket it's fine but now remember you're dealing with secant inverse not 1 by it is cos inverse now use 1 divided by whatever is there it is 
alpha x again divided by 2 now close the bracket properly and that's that's for this degree now even close the tan bracket and then also close the natural logarithm bracket i'll just show you what happened i open one bracket for natural logarithm so this this is closed tan was opened and again degree was open so there were three open brackets so there are three closed brackets the last one is for the definite integral so leave it minus sign minus sign why i'm uh, concerned about the bracket is if you don't close the bracket or open the bracket properly you won't get the answer so that's why right now be vigilant on the brackets now sign it'll all automatically open the bracket again secant inverse is cos inverse and then what do we have one divided by alpha x divided by two now if you just press once like this and close it's going to be wrong you need to press come over here and then close the bracket and then the, close the sign bracket again now that's it don't don't write the c because it doesn't make a difference what is the x value it is 4.5 let me press equal to the answer is this now obviously when you do it in your calculators which i did that time it took a long long time you know not long time it took me about 20 seconds i guess or 15 seconds um, i started counting till five but then i just dozed off and then i got the answer uh, 10 to 15 seconds so wait don't don't press anything don't press on or anything just give it time it will definitely come this will be very easy very quick you will directly get the answer but when you're solving the definite integral it will take time but you will definitely get the answer so this matches now you need to be not not very quick you know if you're going to solve this it's going to take much much more time so if you do the direct method and find the answer it's going to be much quicker so that's fine so just make sure you you check the answers and um it's you know just try to you know put these values especially the secant inverse tan accurately now what if it was cosecant inverse just use sine inverse bracket one by x just remember about that so that is it that is how you can easily solve the answers for this and you can check the answers i will show all the other answers as well so take your time you can go through this you can even try uh, solving these by yourself whenever there is all see now for example this is very easy because there is no problem at all this is just to type it as it is whereas when it is secant inverse or cosecant inverse then there'll be a difficulty and over here make sure when you're solving this make sure the x value is positive if you take a x value whenever square root is there positive then this will be positive not to worry okay whenever this is positive even this you do not need to use modulus just use the normal brackets so this is all the answers you can pause it and go through it if you want and now i'm going from backwards because i did the 30 second problem and then we are going backwards if it's definite integral very easy just type it in the calculator you will get the answers so 21 from here i hope this is clear so those were all the answers for the 19th topic and um, yes all these are there only to be careful when you get secant inverse or cosecant inverse that's it if you have any doubts in the calculator method or anything please watch the video which is there in the description and if you have further doubts please do ask them in the comments i will get back to you as soon as possible